Welcome to Skipper's Fish Camp. My name's Ken Tollison and I'm one of the four idiots that dreamed up this venture. And you might ask why would a gray-haired old man jump in the restaurant business? Because I'm an idiot. Uh, but uh, our partners, the four of us, opened this thing about four years ago. It's a work in progress and we've quite frankly had a ball. There's not a prettier setting in all of coastal Georgia than where Skipper's Fish Camp sits on the Darien River. Hey y'all, welcome back to Skipper's Fish Camp, and for you first time visitors, equally welcome. You're always here, this is your place, your home. S seafood is fresh every day. Come on in, let me show you around. Skipper's Fish Camp is uh, built on a beautiful site here on the Darien River. Uh, it, the history here goes back a long way. For many years it was the home of Skipper's Seafood Processing Plant. The shrimp boats would come up here and dock. Uh, unload what they called the whatever they harvested from the sea that day and, and then they would go inside and get weighed out and paid in chits which they would convert to cash unless the uh, poker shack uh, got to them first but anyway that's another story before then this was a sawmill site of uh, lumber that was floated down the Darien River from uh, the Altamaha River then to the Darien River where it was planed and milled and uh, loaded on the boats and shipped back to England. This goes back in the early 1800s. So All right, I was telling you about the uh, timber that was milled and floated down the Altamaha River to the Darien River and uh, back in the 1800s. Well, when the old Oglethorpe Hotel was built in Brunswick, which is the uh, centerpiece of, of all of the coastal area, uh, they used that lumber to build the hotel. In the 1950s, unfortunately, the Oglethorpe Hotel burned, and uh, but a lot of the timber that was used in the building was salvaged, and the current owners at that time of Skipper's Processing Plant uh, salvaged that wood, brought it in, and used it to build his poker shack or his little what's now our oyster bar, uh, and he just stacked it up three and four boards deep in the walls and in the flooring, and thinking someday he'd have a use for it. Well. We came along, my partners and I, and, and bought the property from him, and we discovered that, and we asked him, and we got the story about the wood. So instead of throwing it away, we had it re-milled, and we used all the wood to build these tables, and our bar and all the woodwork around here was timber that was milled uh, originally in the 1800s. So, this is going to be a stretch, but there was a famous movie called A View from Pompey's Head that was filmed at the old Oglethorpe Hotel. So the next time you're in here having a bite to eat or a nice cold drink, you can have a toast to the days of Hollywood and timber and the history of Darien all in one when you sit down here at these tables. Well, anybody can open one restaurant, but it takes a real stroke of genius from the four idiots to decide to open up two restaurants all in one. Downstairs where we've been visiting is our uh, are what we call formal dining. That way, that means you have to wear at least flip flops. But up here is the oyster bar, and from what all I hear, this is where the real fun. Bathing suits are optional. Come on up. This is our oyster bar. Well, the oyster bar. This is where it happens. Uh, this is for our whiskey guzzling uh, draft beer guzzling crowd, and we have a lot of fun up here. It's uh, like I said, it's bathing suits, suits optional. Uh, on Wednesday nights we've got live entertainment and uh, some people might think that it, it's a little more than that. But if you like oysters, we've got them shucked on the half shell. We can steam them. We can uh, plate them up with some cheese and hot sauce. Any way you like oysters, we've got them up here. Anyway, we've got our smoker up here and we do all our barbecue, get that fixed up. But more than anything else, this place is fun. We've got an open air deck. Uh, you can sit out and watch the sunsets. Life just doesn't get a whole lot better than that. And the best thing, we got our friend Jose here. And I got my good friend Ken. Been buddies since the eighth grade. Here's to you, pal. Can I drink now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. That'll do it. Yeah. Well, I hope you learned a little more about us. I hope it makes you want to come visit us. If you've been here before, come on back to see us. Thank you for going to www.skippersfishcamp.com. And remember, we're right off of I-95, exit 49. We're only two or three minutes from paradise. So come to see us.